So I just got this Quantum X yesterday. I figured I'd do a short video on it. Test results probably won't be coming till this weekend. Feels like a lazy week. But uh, I took the main unit apart yesterday because it kind of smelled like standing water. It was just kind of a gross smell. Uh, for those unfamiliar with them, they do use a, a slotted cone separator. I would show you that except taking this off one-handed might be a bad idea because it seems to take me both to get it back into place. Um, I'll include here a picture of the motor. It is a peripheral bypass type motor, but unfortunately I didn't find it to be very serviceable because while I could take it apart to some degree, I could access the first fan, I could not take a, I could not take this, uh, I think it's like a locking washer or something like that but I couldn't remove that portion of it so unfortunately I couldn't clean out the second fan very well <clears throat> and um I'm not sure if this happened in shipping Oops. not sure if that happened in shipping or if this happened while I was taking it apart but there's now a crack here which kind of sucks and then uh yeah this isn't a button it's just a little touchpad and then there's a circuit board below here. And uh, I think the motor cooling fan, you know, must draw air in here, keeping the circuit board cool as well as cooling the motor. And then uh, the air, the uh, cooling air comes out here. Now as for the cleaning air, that actually comes out down here, which I thought was kind of odd. But in opening the machine up, I actually found that there were two pipes running from where the peripheral exhaust is the cleaning air that come down the side here and actually merge at the bottom and uh this extend thing here the assembly is a telescopic wand <laughs> i thought it was kind of funny um and then we have the port here to use the hose which you would put the notches in there and give it a slight turn i did do a preliminary test on the hose um, I think I got about 56 to 58 inches of water lift, and as for the airflow, it was like 23, 23 feet per minute, which I'll calculate that out. It, the hose wasn't in an ideal position, because it was kind of sagging, but what do you do? And here we have the... Yeah, it's not a very energy, not a very energy hungry machine. Strangely, I've heard the, according to the manual, the motorized nozzle only uses about 80 watts. And this nozzle reminds me a little bit of like a Wesselworks nozzle. Um, I don't want to lean it too far back because it's got water in it. Let's see if I can light this up. Yeah, we got a squeegee back there, but it feels to me like the brush roll is a little bit weak. Well, I shouldn't say the brush roll. It feels like the brush roll motor is a little bit weak, because it seems like I can slow that down with my hand pretty easily. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's 80 watts. <laughs> it probably should be a little bit stronger, but, uh... Yeah, I've done a little bit of cleaning with it, so the water is a little bit, little bit dirty. Oh, and there's a little, uh, on the base of here, below the water cup, there's a blue light. So when you turn the machine on, it lights up blue. So that's kind of cool. And it won't run without the water cup. I didn't recognize what, what it was at first, but there's a micro switch in the back. So when the cup isn't present, that micro switch isn't depressed, and the machine won't run without it. But uh, I think that's enough rambling, so why don't... Oh, yeah, before I start this, I just want to mention the cord. It's kind of a weird computer plug cord, and it just clips into it, so it's got this lock on it. You can take the cord off, but what irritates me is there is no cord hooks. There is nowhere to put a cord. Although, I'm guessing that these little things here might actually be for this optional cord winder that I saw in the manual. <laughs> Kind of a bad place for it, really. It's already a top-heavy machine. Um, I, I just don't think adding that to it would be <laughs> help it in any way. 
probably be more likely to topple over. But anyways, we'll start the machine up and the, uh, I haven't opened up the nozzle to clean it out, but I'm assuming it has a, mi mi <coughs> a micro switch in it since the nozzle will not start up when it's in the upright position. <laughs> I needed both hands to do the extend thing. Like I said, it's an extension wand. That's all it is. But uh, it doesn't swivel when it's in its full compact position or whatever you'd want to call it. But once you actually have a little bit more space, whoops, <laughs> you have a little bit of a swivel. Although it's more just the, it's just more the back turning rather than anything. that back and just for the hell of it we'll put the hose on Obviously not its maximum power. And we can see. And uh, why don't I take the water tank off and give you guys a quick view of the separator. And then the water tank here is actually in two parts. This upper piece and the fill tube comes off. Which, <laughs> it seems like a lot of stuff gets lodged in that fill tube, which is uh, kind of annoying. It's a little bit difficult to clean out, but it's not that big a deal. But here we have the separator. So, for those who are unfamiliar with water filtration vacuums, this is actually attached to the motor. And so, as the motor spins, this spins. This is what keeps the water out of the motor. And then I mentioned a micro switch right back here. So when the cup is inserted, one of these two little fins back here makes contact with that switch and then it will turn on. In fact, if I push this switch, then it signif signals that it's in the off position. But if I release it, it shuts off. I'm guessing it's just kind of a safety feature to keep people from uh, sticking their hands against a moving object. People do some stupid things. But maybe now we can get a slightly better view. I don't know what this is about, or that other piece. But, uh, yeah. Brush roll is plastic. But it does seem slightly Wessel work like to me. Rubber wheels. And then we have a squeegee behind here. 
I've I not I've not had a problem using it on bare floors, but you know a brush roll shut off would have been nice on a two motor system like this. But you know no machine's perfect. <laughs> 